All right, we'll give everyone just another second to hop on. If you have questions, go ahead and get your hands raised now. <coughs> Anyone want to start us off for post game? Anyone have questions? There we go, Dan. Danielle, go ahead. What did you think of Herman tonight? Today. This afternoon, I thought uh, he was better. Uh, you know, I still don't think uh, Herman is as sharp as we've seen him. Uh, but yet, isn't that a great sign that he went six innings against a good club and only gave up two runs? I thought the slider was better today. Uh, you know, much more uh, consistent with the break and the location. You know, the fastball command was a little spotty for me, just from my uh, viewpoint from the dugout. But he looked under control. I thought the tempo that he and Elias had uh, between pitches uh, was better. He didn't seem rushed. Uh, I thought he was composed. So overall, it was a solid outing. I liked the last two innings. They were great, uh, probably his cleanest innings, making his best pitches. But that was a you know a step in the right direction for uh, one of the best pitchers in the National League. Thank you. Uh, yes, with Herman, what were the things you guys kind of centered on to get him closer to right in this game? What were the things you centered on between the last couple of starts? Well, the last couple of starts, we you know we've talked some delivery stuff as well. We've talked about his mechanics. Uh, we've talked about his uh, his line and his hip, uh, his left hip. Uh, you know, we've talked about just the, uh, you know, his tempo through his uh, through his delivery, especially from the stretch. We thought it maybe was a little rushed the last couple of starts. Uh, today it looked more, I think, on time and, uh, you know, a better rhythm and tempo to his uh, delivery. Uh, you know, those are the two things, a little bit about the hip and a little bit about his, his tempo and his timing. He's also a very competitive guy. I mean, did you have to appeal to that or did you figure he would take care of that on his own? No, we've known uh, Mark, uh, you know, Herman for, you know, a number of years now. We know his competitiveness. Uh, you know, this is a guy that, you know, really wants to do well. Uh, you know, he cares about this organization. Uh, you know, he takes it uh, as a big responsibility every time he takes the mound. Uh, so we never have to worry about that. You know, he, you know, he wanted to, you know, stop this little losing streak, this little two gamer here in St. Louis. So uh, he did his part. Uh, we just didn't score enough runs off Wainwright. He had a couple of opportunities, a uh, sixth inning where uh, Tapia leads off with a double um, and, and, and a couple others in this game where it just didn't seem like you could quite get to Wainwright. Uh, were, are there any of them that you look at? <laughs> yeah, we couldn't get, stuff. there was a couple situational at bats. We didn't get it done. Uh, you know, early in the game, uh, you know, and then again, we didn't get the big hit there in the ninth. Uh, and, and that's what happens in low scoring close games. Uh, it comes down to an at bat or two. Uh, we had some opportunities. Uh, we couldn't cash in. Uh, they had some opportunities also uh, to stretch their lead, and they didn't do it either. Uh, Herman did a nice job of keeping the game close. So, uh, you know, I guess you can look at it as a, a well pitched game by both teams. Thank you, buddy. Patrick. Yeah, buddy, it's Patrick. Um, in regard to Wainwright, he's 39 years old now. Uh, his ERA isn't quite what it used to be. Uh, but what did you see from that veteran out there today that, that impressed you? you no, know, that was a lesson in uh, the art of changing speeds. Uh, you know, you saw the the curveball as low as 68 miles an hour. You saw the fastball as high as 89. Uh, so you're talking about a 20 mile an hour difference in velocity of, of one pitch to the next. Uh, you know, tremendous use of that little cutter uh, that he uses on the outside corner uh, to the right handed hitters. Uh, you know, and he jammed some of our lefties on it as well. Uh, a, two, uh, a two seam action on his, on his fastball that he can throw both. Uh, to both sides of the plate. 
but it was more about uh, disrupting the timing of the hitter. You know, we were out front of the of the curveball. Uh, at times, we were behind the fastball. Uh, it was a clinic in pitching uh, for a guy that, over the last number of years, has uh, you know I don't want to say reinvented himself because he's always had the great curveball. Just when he was younger, it was harder, uh, and he had more velocity to the fastball. So, uh, you know, it's about uh, it's not all about overpowering fastball like so many uh, pitchers have these days. This is more, this was truly about uh, getting us off balance, get us, getting us out front of the curveball. Uh, we just couldn't square that up. Uh, he got a, you know, a couple strikeouts on that curveball and really utilizing the outside corner, uh, which is so effective. Thank you, sir. Anything else for Buddy today? All right, thanks everyone. Thanks, buddy. Yep. All right, we have starting pitcher Herman Marquez here. Um, Danielle, we want to get us going. Hi, Herman. You looked much improved from your last start. Um, how did it feel for you today? Uh, I feel good. Uh, I feel like everything was uh, on time. Uh, my fastball command was pretty good, and my slider had just my slider today. Mm -hmm. 
Buddy told us about some of the mechanical things you've been working on, um, but curious if you've changed anything of like your mental approach. No, no, uh, just uh, on my delivery, uh, nothing mental. So uh, just I've been battled with my delivery from uh, spring training, but you know, I get in there. Uh, so I'm, uh, I'm, so, uh, I'm so close to be good. Thank you. Thomas? Yeah, Herman, I wanted to just ask you, um, just emotionally, how mad were you after the last two starts? And do you let that help you get better, or do you have to put that aside for you to get better? I let the, the, the you know, the bad outings um, back. So I just mentally, you know, have to go out and, and pitch and throw my game, you know. So uh, today was a much better, much better game, and I hope. I have to keep, uh, you know, throwing some good games. Do you feel like um, the corrections you've made are going to stick with your next few starts? Obviously, you did well today. Do you feel like you found something that's going to get better each time? Yeah, like I tell you, it's everything. Everything is my on my delivery. You know, I don't feel. I haven't feel on time, but today was uh, pretty good, pretty close to be on time. And I have to keep it up. Um, the pitch to Nolan, um, wh wh what were you, where were you trying to get that one? I take it it wasn't where you wanted it to be. I don't know, wait and uh, run to the middle and then had it pretty good, man. Um, and obviously there's only so much you can do, but you pitched, you pitched well today. You guys didn't get the runs. Um, is it hard not to get frustrated with how the team is going? Or do you feel like things are going to get better with this club? You know, that is what it is, you know, uh, they're going to happen, it's baseball, and uh, we have to keep moving forward. Thank you, Herman. Patrick. Hey, Herman, I know that you don't pay super close attention to the opposing pitcher. You too, you're too busy pitching your own game. But can you admire what a guy like Adam Wainwright can do? He's 39 years old now. Uh, he doesn't throw all that hard anymore, yet he almost threw a complete game and he kind of kept you guys off balance. Uh, can you admire what he is, what the kind of pitcher he is? Uh, to me, he's a really good pitcher. And he had a lot of a lot, a lot of time um, in baseball and, and I think he, he knows a lot of things. And it's good to me, it's, you know, to see those guys. I learn from from there, from them. And I don't have more to say. It's, it's a pretty good guy. Uh, it's a pretty good pitcher. So, <clears throat> thank thanks, Herman. I appreciate it. Is there anything else for Herman today? Thanks, everyone. Thanks, Ramon. That'll do it for our post game today. So we'll see you all back in Denver. Thank you.